The great thing about this game is that it has really good customization. Oh, I can say the n-word now. <sighs> Alright, so you want to learn how to become a boss at the Wild West. Well, this video is just for you. This is going to be a step-by-step -step beginner's guide to making you into a boss or a pro. If you want to do more than just becoming a boss, leave a like on this video. 10 likes and I'm going to do a part 2 of this video. Alright, so the first tip I have for you is press P and then make yourself really small. This makes you harder to hit. Alright, so here's some things that you should get and some things that you shouldn't get. Pickaxe, I guess you can get it if you want to go mining, but I wouldn't say you should get it right now. Axes, don't, just don't. Wood cutting, it's the worst way to actually make any money. Knife, get a knife, it, it's really nice. Get a torch because at night time is really hard to see. Tribal horn is pretty useless. But don't get the tent yet. And go into guns and ammo. You already you probably have this the because this is the best starter pistol. Don't get don't get the model three basically don't get any of this right now get a sawed off shotgun after getting this sawed off shotgun reset go to tribal village jump on this log this log is op all right this log is completely op spam them with the peacekeeper pick this up i like to use this method to get money i feel like it's one of the best methods don't don't become an outlaw there's way too much risk because and plus you don't even make too much money off of it i'd say either get hunting or limestone limestone is the best way but i feel like it's pretty boring so i, I like to do hunting just stand on this log no bears can attack you from here all right so when it respawns get your sawed off in the head and then it's gonna charge you well she just killed it <laughs> now that that idiot's gone so after you get your thing just jump in this river Go over here to Callahan's Manor. This is the closest general store. So go here. This is the general store. A lot of people don't know about this. So just go on here, get, go inside and then press F. Now I got 75 because I don't have a full inventory. But if you have a full inventory, you get like 1,200. All right, so when you first start up, you might go to the Bronze City horse shop, which is fine if, you, if you're starting off. To get horses, you click E on this guy. Don't get a mule. A lot of people get the mule. Don't get a mule. It's a f***ing donkey and it's retarded. Don't get a Tursk. Go here and get the Lucy Tano. But if you want an actual, a uh, pretty good horse, I'd say go to Callahan's Manor. Just, just go over here to Callahan's Manor, and this is the best horse shop. You get all the ten thousand horses here. The best one I'd say is the quarter horse or the Mustang. They're both the same thing. Uh, maybe the Mustang's the best one because it's the smallest one. But I'm too poor right now to get that, so let's just fix that. There we go. Okay, so now that I have enough money by using my hacky hacky ways, I'm gonna get the quarter horse because. I mean, I, I, I want my horse to be a bit bigger than the tiny Mustang. So 
know how to make this part, so I'm just gonna animate it instead. Do not troll without good things. If you troll without good stuff, you're probably just gonna get killed, or arrested, or maybe even made fun of. So, just don't troll without good things. Wasting people's time like this. Oh, got the sheriff! I got the sheriff! Let's go! <laughs> again